arrived at your destination. The real bit wars. So we did round one of the vendors hall. You know the drill by now. We go through there over and over. But this year, we found some things pretty early on, made some purchases right away. Broke the ice, so to speak. Bunch of manuals, and he was getting a pretty good deal. So I got Dungeons and Dragons toys. Best Robin Williams films ever. <laughs> Maybe the best. <laughs> Generations Lost, Soldiers of Fortune. And this one, he was like, oh, I'm gonna let this one go by because he's like, that's probably worth a lot. And then a uh, tin head. A great deal too. Yeah. You know, a couple dollars. Yeah, a piece it was twelve dollars. So <laughs> I picked up some Genesis games. So we stopped at one place, and then uh, we kind of worked out a deal. I got Marvel Land and Genghis Khan Two, and we paired it up with the uh, hook. Yeah, which I'm really excited to finally get. This it looks like somebody got this at Savers or something back in the day. There's what? A, <laughs> Again. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I love this game. Like I have a reproduction on the Master System and I have, yeah, I have the Super Nintendo Sega C D was missing this one. So. Random sports game, I got a tennis game for a dollar. It's missing the Score! <laughs> it's in rough shape, but you know, a dollar, you can't pass that up. And then another sports one, Pro Moves, soccer. And I came with a poster. I got the Nabunagu's Ambition, if I'm saying that correctly. This does have the manual. So then I got the, another pair up, the Wolf Child for the Genesis, and then... I got Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Score! And yeah. Mortal Kombat 3. So weird that I do not have this yet. Like, there's so many Super Nintendo games, and that seems like such a common title. Got this uh, nice 8 switcher. I have the exact same one. I have two of them. They're really nice. A Streets of Rage 2 hack with the Ninja Turtles. And it's nice, it's got this translucent cartridge. I think it's just a character hack of Streets of Rage 2 where they just put in the turtle sprites. But we're gonna play it tonight. Who tuned at the night? I have a really hard time hitting people. Those stubby weapons? Yeah. They usually pick a real turtle. <laughs> this is the only real turtle, as opposed to Bozo the Clown over there. <laughs> Call my weapon stubby, will ya? <laughs> Your weapons are pretty effective on me. I gotta get one more thing. This is one of those that always confuse me. There are three different versions of Street Fighter 2. And it's always like, wait, there's one I'm missing and I can never remember. I saw this and I was like, that's the one I don't have. So finally, I can put that to rest. Now I know. It's another one too. How the heck did I not have... <laughs> you know, a it? Mortal Kombat and yeah. a Street Fighter 2 game, like, but obviously we're gonna go ahead and make another round through the vendors hall real quick here. So we soaked in the sights and the sounds on Saturday at the Midwest Gaming Classic. We do have some more pickups to show you. We got Brain Lord and Paladin's Quest. And one thing that was really cool about today is I was able to get at least a few dollars off on pretty much everything other than maybe some of those really early purchases. So, yeah. so I picked up some more manuals. I got uh, Thunder Force 2, which is a surprise because uh, I just have a loose cartridge. Young Indiana Jones, Barkley Shut Up and Jam 2, and Gauntlet 4, which is a rough shape that the guy threw it in for nothing. Alright, so then I stopped at this one guy and he had a um, winter challenge that I've been missing, so I picked that up, plus a uh, audio cassette of the soundtrack Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and I got some looks from passerbys when I was checking out. They were like, oh my gosh, is that Mortal Kombat? <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Even the guy selling it didn't realize it was in there. He's yeah. like, where'd you get this? And I'm like, oh, it's crammed over there between the PSP games. I got NBA Live 98. The guy had like three copies of this. He's trying to get $7 for him. I'm like, would you take four? And he just stares at me. Yeah, okay, I'll take four. Fine. I'm thinking like, come on. But uh, it's nice, now I have all of these. Again, this is just an extremely common one that for whatever reason I still didn't have. An Intellivision manual for bump and jump. I got Qbert 3, 
and Arrow the Acrobat 2, the first Breath of Fire game. Mike got a replacement copy of that tennis game, so he gave me that copy he showed you earlier. Thank you, Mike! It's a dollar, so... Yeah, but it's tennis, so... <laughs> yeah, it's missing SCORE! So I got a couple Wii games. I got uh, Just Dance 2018. Is it Gina? Gina Sisters? <laughs> 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 Twisted Creams. <laughs> Director's Butts. Is that the one that they threw in there? Yeah, so I bought these two together. And the guy's just like, oh yeah, go help yourself from something from the bin. So I picked the manual for this game, which I don't have. I got an amiibo for my stepson. So I picked up some uh, of these uh, Game Boy Advance videos. So I got the three of the four. Pokemon. I got a Dragon Balls GT. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. And then I got a Yu-Gi-Oh. That's a little hook reference. Well, thank you for watching The Real Bit Wars, and make sure you tune in to our Sunday video for part three. Amiibo. 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 Um. Ooh, I'm squeaking here. Oh, yeah!